you've tried silicone caulk before, you know just how frustrating and how messy it can be. It sticks to everything and it doesn't wash off with water. Well, in this video, I'm going to share a trick that I learned that will allow anybody that uses it to be able to get professional looking silicone caulk results. Here it is. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a caulk gun and any caulk gun that you have will work. This one's pretty decent. It's got a, a little poker, which is nice, and a positive stop. You're going to need some silicone caulk. Somewhere on that tube, you want it to say 100% silicone caulk. Not siliconized, not acrylic, not latex, but 100% silicone. And I'm going to use black silicone on white tile for this demonstration. And you need some paper towels and a rag and some denatured alcohol. And this is a gallon. You don't need a gallon. Probably a quart will be plenty. And that's in the paint section of the hardware store. And an empty spray bottle. And this is called backer rod. And it's foam. And I'm going to put that in the caulk joint. And it's just something that helps the performance of the, of the caulk joint. So take the alcohol and put it in the spray bottle like you see here. The first thing you want to do is we're going to take the alcohol and put it on the rag, spray it on the rag, and just clean the caulk joint. Make sure there's no dirt or anything that will keep the silicone from sticking. So here's the backer rod. This is quarter inch backer rod and I'm putting it in the caulk joint and I'm just using a putty knife to do this and you want to make sure it's all the way underneath the, the backer rod. You don't want it sticking out at all anywhere. And put it in any caulk joint that uh, you're going to be going over today. So here's how the, the overall concept works. When, when you, you take the beta caulk and put it in the, the caulk joint, And I'm going to take that empty or the spray bottle with the alcohol in it. And I'm going to spray the, the caulk joint. And the paper towels are just to wipe the excess off there. So I'm going to spray that caulk joint. And the concept is, is that wherever that alcohol is, the, the silicone won't stick to it. So right now the alcohol is all over the tile where the silicone isn't. And I'm going to take my finger here and tool it off. And you can see it's a little bit messy. So I'm going to take that rag and spray some more alcohol on it and clean that up. And you can see that it does a pretty well, pretty nice job. Here's a close up. And this is much different than getting it all over everything. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, that you get the silicone completely in the caulk joint. You don't want any voids or gaps because if you spray the alcohol in, in a, a void, then the silicone won't won't stick to that. And you spray it, tool it, and detail it out here a little bit. And that is basically the trick here. And here's a close up again. So here's a couple real life situations. So when you get to corners, corners can be a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm going to do one here and pause the video. Now you can see that, that there's still two undone uh, joints that, that uh, need some silicone in there. Now if you were to spray the, the silicone or spray the alcohol in the corner right now, the alcohol would get in two of those three corners that there isn't any silicone in yet, and then it wouldn't stick. So what I usually do on the corners is I do all three of them at one time. And now when I spray the alcohol in there, it won't get anywhere it's not supposed to. Now one thing about this is you do want to make sure you tie into those ends. You don't want the ends of the silicone to dry before you tie into them. So probably in about 15 minutes or so, you want to make sure you tie into the ends of those. And sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to detail out the corner, but just take your time and use, use the alcohol to clean it up and you can get it pretty good. 
Now, inevitably, you, you may get a gap or a hole somewhere in the when you're doing this. And so what I'm going to do is intentionally put a gap in here. And so you can see I'm spraying it, and the gap right now is full of alcohol. So just dry it out the best you can, and we'll come back in about 15 minutes after the alcohol evaporates and put some more in there. Now they do make special tools for uh, if you don't want to use your finger. And so this is one I got at a hardware store. So I'm going to try it out here. I'm going to put some alcohol on the, the tool here. And you can see that works pretty well too. Looks like it leaves a little bit more silicone in the joint. And maybe that's not a bad thing. So I'm going to detail it out. And here's what it looks like when it's all said and done. You can see the silicone does bleed into the grout joint in some spots. Usually the silicone and the grout match. So you usually won't even see that. But you can see it's a pretty good trick. And if you just use the alcohol, it'll keep you out of trouble. So there you have it. The easiest silicone caulk trick on the internet. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my blog, DIYTileGuy.com. I will have more videos to come.